What's going on guys? John from GorillaContractor.com here. We do websites, branding, and marketing for remodeling and roofing companies. And in this video, I'm going to show you what the typical lead uh, research process looks like, okay? Because I've done some remodeling in the past, but I'm not full-time in the weeds on this business. So I can pretend like I'm more of a customer and tell you what it's really like, okay? So I'm on Google. I search remodeling contractors, maybe remodeling contractors near me. And first of all, Google is going to push their own Google guaranteed system. Um, and, you know, these guys will skim off, I don't know, 5, 10% of everybody who shows up. But for the rest of us, we might click a couple links here and there. But for me, usually, I would go to Google Maps and look at what's nearby and, you know, how many reviews do they have? What's their website look like? So this is where it's your time to shine, right? Because if you look here, this is your opportunity. If somebody clicks that website button, they're either going to be impressed or they're going to be like, what the heck is this? So these guys, let's say Cass, let's say Pachota, they're at the top. They got all these five-star reviews. It's their ball to fumble right here. So if I click their website, oh, this 37 reviews. And it's just this Facebook page. It looks a little sketchy. looks a little amateur. Um, eh, you know, I'll look at another one. Oh, this looks much better. If I had a bunch of money and I wanted some remodeling done. It's this or the Facebook page, right? Uh, and then this one only has one review, right? So if, if you have kind of a smaller company, this is what you're up against. These guys, it's their game to lose. And you have to doubly prove that you are worth uh, a customer spending all this money on you you got one review, right? But it's five stars. So we'll click on that website. And this is your Hail Mary chance to come back in the game. And then pff, this is what your website looks like. It just, it's not very good at all, right? So, so I gave you a chance as a customer to prove that you're better than this one star. But there are no trust icons here no testimonials, uh, no team, no owner. Um, it just looks like a generic sketchy website. So I'll look at a couple more here. This looks, yeah, they got a lot of social proof here. So they're close. Um, and you know, they, they look, Kind of like normal, friendly people. They got a bunch of trust icons, a little bit too low on the page here. I would have put them up front, but they look like they can compete for my money. And this one, um, I mean, this, it's a full website, but it's older than, you know, probably older than me. So at the end of the day, right, I looked at five, I'll look at one more. No, uh, maybe not. There we go. This looks okay. Some more testimonials, uh, more of a personal touch would make it look good, but they got evidence that they're, do they're doing all types of work, right? And if somebody's doing work, um, y you know that they're booked and they're probably doing good stuff. So this is basically what happens if someone's searching on Google Maps. If you have all these reviews, you should have a follow-up with a website that's so well done, that's so beautiful, that showcases your work, has so much social proof and evidence that you, know, you, you close the deal right there. And you don't even got to pay for the ads that all these other guys are paying for. If you follow up with these, all these 37, 60 star, five star reviews with a website that doesn't impress, doesn't have enough evidence, 
um, that you are who you say you are, that you do the work that you say you do, then you're still not going to win. Right. Um, and this guy is just a completely uphill battle there. Uh, but that's at the end of the day, you see how it works where, you know, even if you're getting the Google reviews, even if you're getting the reviews on house or home advisor or whatever, people are still going to check out your website to get a little better of an idea about your company. And they want to, they want to know they're going to spend thousands of dollars. They're going to give that to you. And, uh, they're going to invite you into their home. Maybe they'll be gone while you're working and they want to know, is this a good company? Is this established? Um, or are they like barely making it by right? That they can't even have, have a presentable website. Um, and so that's where the friction comes into play here. You know, um, a lot of companies, especially in remodeling and roofing, they become so dependent on referral business and then they want to build their Google maps and their reviews and all this. And then they, they just think, Oh, but the website doesn't matter. But every stranger who comes to me, who comes to you with thousands of dollars to spend on your services is always going to look at your website. You know, there might be a few small percentage if, if it was like a warm lead from a friend or something, but they're always going to see, get a, a bigger picture of what you're all about. Right? So, uh, the end of the day, that's just kind of how that, that particular process works with Google. You know, there's different ways that leads can come to you on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. But, uh, this is the general idea, right? You can't get the reviews right and then drop the ball on the website. You can't get the website right and then drop the ball on the sales. Everything is dependent on the next step in the process. Uh, and a lot of companies are not very aware of this. So if you like this video, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll catch you in the next one.